Hey everyone, you're watching the baddest man on the planet, Trans Aaron 38. And you know what that means? That means that this channel is for adults only. So if you're under the age of 18, go somewhere else. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your host, Trans Aaron 38, coming at you with some more Transformers action. Today we're taking a look at the Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Galactic Odyssey Collection Dominus Criminal Pursuit. And uh, this is your. Uh, take on a two pack of you got uh, punch counter punch and uh, barricade here which is actually in his new mold uh, the Datsun mold that smokescreen prowl in them had so pretty cool and we're getting another version of punch counter punch in different colors which is freaking awesome We'll show you differences between this Punch Counter Punch versus the Power of the Primes one we actually previously got a long time back. So, yeah, very cool. Highly recommended. So, right off the bat, I really want to, want to get these guys out. So, let's get them out of their cardboard box of prison. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Cue that awesome intro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here is the Galactic Odyssey, uh, Dominus Pursuit, whatever the heck they call this thing, it's a long, Galactic Odyssey Collection Dominus Criminal Pursuit pack in the Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy, and, uh, this is the Amazon exclusive, like I already said, uh, yeah, they, they come in this nice little box, they come with, uh, the big map here of Earthrise, like, oh yeah, we're gonna put the pieces of map to in on the boxes so they can cut the boxes and stuff apart. Nah, it'll be all right. But all in all, here is barricade and punch counter punch. Well, punch or counter punch in this vehicle, whatever you want to call them. So anyway, very cool. Right out of the box. Um, I know they were in robot mode in the box, but. Previously, we all uh, we all had these molds before. Uh, we had him in the Power of the Primes, Punch Counter Punch, but he's a different color this time, uh, different shades. And we got Barricade, which is a Earthrise uh, smokescreen in maybe Prowl repaint. Uh, I don't own Prowl, but looks like smokescreen with a Prowl light bar on top. So, eh. But anyway, moving along, it's like uh, you do get your. Uh, your uh, Galactic Odyssey uh, instructions, they, they don't give you separate instructions, they give you all in one. Because basically that picture right there, that just looks like smoke screen right there. So, <laughs> it just looks like smoke screen. Then you got punch, counter punch right here. You got the instructions, the weapons, all that good stuff. He transforms, all that good stuff, yada yada yada. All that good stuff. And, you get a piece of white paper. Yeah. <laughs> Yay for white paper. Woo! Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, moving along. Moving right along. My flea juice was messed up. But, uh, anyway. Here is the two-pack that you get from Amazon. Uh, we'll start off with Barricade. And, uh, he's a, basically like a smokescreen repaint, I'm thinking. Uh, I don't own the Prowl mold because that thing went... Uh, canceled order, so <laughs> um, I'm actually hoping they re-release Prowl and, Prowl and Ironhide packs again because uh, it's just ridiculous with the exclusives. Or they just they just need to re-release them in a, in, in the lot in uh, Kingdom as a figure itself. But again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? But anyway, like I said, though we were st starting off with Barricade. Now size comparison here with a Barricade. Just had smoke screen. Where'd he go? I put him somewhere and I forgot where I put him. Uh huh. Right there he is. <laughs> and my smoke screen's modified. I put some chrome on him. Uh, but uh, basically, you can definitely see that uh, I have two smoke screens. This one here is the chrome version I got. But basically, it is the smoke screen mold. Because the bumper is the same up here as well. Because the. Because uh, blue streaks is uh, is cut off a little bit different for the front of the bumper, 
So basically, it's a smokescreen mold, ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion. But anybody else knows, just leave a comment down in the comment section. So, so you can definitely see what I did uh, chrome-wise for my smokescreen. Definitely give, get, definitely uh, bling my smokescreen out. I know I'm not showing off. That is my custom. <laughs> custom chromed out version of smokescreen. I think he looks badass. But anyway, moving right along. He does come with the same weapons that Smokescreen does. You get these uh, get these small little uh, launcher cannons. They're like in a purplish grayish plastic. It's pretty cool. And then he gets a gold gun, which is that actually in that same kind of plastic, but they painted it. So, so yeah, you get the weapons here with that. Focus. There we go. So you got the nice Decepticon logo. Right there, we got the police on the side. Very nice. Yeah, they got the gray plastic up here. Wish they would have just painted that black or had the peg black on it. But eh, again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? So no headlight, no tail lights painted or anything. But eh, it is what it is. So anyway. Basically, we'll go ahead and transform him into his robot mode. Basically, same transformation. Like I said, though, uh, it's uh, basically Earthrise mold this time around. A barricade. Pull his little heels out. It's a lot tighter on this mold. I don't know what it is, but it's tighter. There we go. And there is Barricade in his robot mode, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, put his weapons up on top here like so. Just like so. And there is Barricade in his robot mode. Focus in there for you. There we go. So there is Barricade, ladies and gentlemen. Very cool figure right off the bat. Definitely you can see he looks like his Siege counterpart that we had. I never did review my Siege version or opened them. So it's like I was just, ah, I'll just get them and it's like... And not even open them. Um, I might end up opening them just for a comparison here later on at the end of the video, possibly. Well, anyway, there's there he is in his robot mode. Same articulation as smoke screen. Um, but definitely the head sculpt. Very nice on the head sculpt. With the purple visor. With the pur purple uh purple head crest. Anyway, size comparison here with uh the punch counter punch now. Here's the power of the primes, and uh, here is, and then here is the new Dominus Criminal Pursuit Pack. You can definitely tell the different shade of blue, and then it gave a yellow stripe on the side of his car, and he didn't paint, they didn't paint their his rims this time. So, my opinion, this guy feels a little bit lighter this time compared to uh, the original, so there must be something in the plastic. You definitely see it under under carriage of him. He does come with his gun. His gun still gets pegged in underneath. So yeah. Set the other punch counter punch off this side from Power of the Primes. But basically it's the same mold. It's just a different lighter color and different paint apps. So yeah. Anyway, we'll take his pistol off, transform him. Well, before we even transform him, you know. Here's the G1 punch counter punch I got, and that is not like the accurate as it's supposed to be. So that's why Power to Primes is much better, in my opinion, because the orange, it's a more of an orange over here, but it's like an orangish yellow. They tried tried to get to the closest as they can for that color. Um, so I prefer the Power to Primes version over this. So, so definitely, there's your punch counter punch. With G1 punch counter punch. So yeah. 
So yeah. Anyway, transform. We'll just go ahead and uh, split this section here. Get up here, try to split the window here. And tabs in there, tab in there. Go ahead and uh, rotate this whole section down. Split the legs. Fold this windshield piece in. Fold it up. Bring it over. Fold it over. Bring it up. Fold it over. And we're going to do his uh, counter punch mold, uh, the Decepticon version first. So you're going to rotate his fist, shoulders over because he's basically already in his Decepticon mode. So there is punch, counter punch in his Decepticon mode. So, so yeah, very cool right off the bat. I love love what they did with the the. The pain apps on him. Well, on focus camera. There we go. So very cool. I was like, uh, yeah, it's like counter punches the Decepticon one. So you always got their names mixed up for some reason. But hey, again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? Then you can give him his little pea shooter. So basically, you got your nice uh, power of the primes. Punch counter punch. Where well, you got your counter punch here in this Decepticon mold mode. So it's just pretty badass. Pretty badass indeed. Now I'm gonna transform the power of the primes ones real quick. Here off camera. And show the difference in the shades, the shade of it. And here is the Power of the Primes one. Yeah, they did a good job with it. Uh, I I admit they did a good job with the mold, but they could have. I split. I w wish they would have re-released them in his original colors like this. I'm not sure why they went with the light yellow. Um, but yeah, that's his mold. His his uh punch counter punch mode. Counter punch mode for the Decepticons. Definitely see the different paint apps here. You got a light purple Decepticon symbol here, and you got the regular purple Decepticon symbol here. Um, but you definitely see the difference in the paint. I see a silver right here for those little pieces right there. Nothing painted right here. But all in all, it's the same same figure. It's just a different color. Um, now the back side of them is basically punch. Basically, all we have to do for punches mo mode is uh, flip these shoulder pieces around and then slide them back. I don't do that. Uh, you're supposed to slide them back and then peg them in back here. I don't like pegging them in because of the plastic. Because, uh, yeah. And then all you have to do is switch his arms. Switch his arms. Rotate. There you go. And then flip up his little visor, bend his knees the other direction, and there's punch in the Autobot form. So, so you can have, if you want to, since you, if you if you guys get get him and already have power to primes, you can have one and punch, one punch, one punch, and then counter punch. So you get two different figures in their in their um uh, uh can't even think their uh, different modes. So yeah. So, we'll just transform into his Autobot version. Spin his ass around. Flip up his uh, visor here. Basically a nice G1 homage to his original toy. So, the yellow does look good for his robot mode, I, I admit. But... Now, the orange is much more G1 accurate, if you want to be more G1 accurate for the toy. Cartoon accurate more. I do believe it was cartoon accurate. But, Pirate of Primes did a good job on it. But, the Domino's Pursuit Pack, it's nice that we got a re-release figure of Punch Counter Punch. Because he was, a, he was an exclusive release as well, I do believe, back then. 
for Power of the Primes. So, very cool. So, yeah. Definitely see the difference there in his Autobot modes. Anyway. I'm going to put him back here. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, this is a cool little uh, Transformers pack that you can definitely have. Um, very cool figure indeed. It's like like I said, uh, for smoke screen, smoke screen mode. Very cool. Um, I like it how they did uh, did barricade with the smoke screen mode. Very cool. So yeah, very cool indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, I'm gonna transform smoke screen here real quick off camera. And do the comparison with that because I am not opening that barricade uh, for a comparison of my siege because I don't I want to keep them in the box. I know, but again, what could you do, guys? What could you do? But uh, I don't know. I might might change my mind, but highly doubtful. Come on, transform, smoke screen. Transform, smoke screen. There we go. Got him in his robot mode, putting his weapons in his hands and his guns that I custom. So, and we'll put punch back here. So there's your smoke screen. Basically, it's smoke screen mold and i'm not too mad about that it's pretty cool guy had the datsuns i'm a big fan of the mold i love it um very cool so yeah there's your difference with smoke screen definitely got that that different that that head sculpt that smoke screen got so very cool so yeah ladies and gentlemen hope you guys enjoyed this awesome review of the new transformers galactic odyssey pursuit uh what is it pursuit pack or whatever it's called dominus pursuit definitely cool uh figures definitely an awesome awesome pack you can definitely pick up it's actually still available on amazon right now ladies and gentlemen it's still on amazon definitely don't miss out on this pack so there is my review on the new transformers galactic odyssey collection dominus criminal pursuit pack from amazon definitely cool figures highly recommended ladies and gentlemen so i hope you guys enjoyed this awesome review don't forget to check everybody's links out in the description down below like usual and also don't forget to check me out on instagram i'll follow you back on instagram all that good stuff until next time i'm your host trans 38 and it's time to transform and roll out yeah